2024 is set to be another volatile year for bond markets. There will be a continued push and pull between factors pushing bond yields in opposite directions. Sticky inflation and government bond supply will drive yields up, while lower growth and fears of a possible recession will pull them down. In terms of credit spreads, we also see plenty of push and pull factors. Negative supply and deleveraging on the one hand against concerns about credit fundamentals on the other. In that context, our focus is on producing a high level of income without taking too much risk to produce a high quality yield rather than a yield at all costs. How do we do that? We control for both government bond duration and idiosyncratic credit risk, keeping both to a moderate level. We think shorter maturity bonds generally have better risk reward at the moment than longer bonds. Government bond curves are inverted, and that means that corporate yields are currently higher in the front end of the curve than they are in the back. From an income perspective, that's quite attractive. We can pick up better income in the front end without the need to take on too much government bond duration. Secondly, we like sectors that can afford or even benefit from higher interest rates. For us, that means more exposure in areas like financials and energy and lower exposures in areas like real estate and TMT. We also focus heavily with our analyst team on cash flow and in particular on interest coverage. Each company we own has to be able to service not just current but also projected levels of interest expense. Generally, that means increasing our exposure in those names that have low levels of debt and avoiding highly levered sectors. Because we are a global, unconstrained franchise, we don't over-index to any particular government, sector or rating. That means we are well diversified with investments all over the world and across both investment grade and higher quality high yield markets. Overall, our aim is to produce a quality yield for our investors as opposed to yield at all costs, to provide an all-weather strategy with a moderate level of credit risk and a moderate level of duration risk.